Good morning all. Join me to paint this cute chickadee for a Christmas card. The outline page and the full free lesson are at watsonwatercolor.com. The three main colors are blue, brown, and yellow. The other colors, green, gray, and black, can be mixed from the first three if you want, but don't get caught up in the details. Just get out your paints and let's get started. The pine cones will get two washes of color. The first one is just burnt sienna. Paint the left pine cone with that. For the right pine cone, you want it to have a little more interest. So paint the bottom with brown and the top with brown plus yellow for a golden color. Next, get out some blue and mix a puddle of green. Last, mix a puddle of gray. That's blue plus brown. Wet the top area behind the bird and snow with clean water. You want it nice and damp, but not soppy wet. Start at the bottom of that wet area. Paint in some gray. It may spread too much. If it does, just let it dry for a minute. If it doesn't spread enough, you may want to re-wet it. When you get it just right and the gray kind of blends out a bit, you can add some green to look like a light, far away pine branch. It's okay if the green and the gray mix and look kind of like a neutral color. Try not to overwork this bit. Get in, get out, leave it alone, and let it do whatever it does. Wet the bottom behind the branch. Mix a darker gray. That's using the same blue and brown. Just use more paint and less water. Once again, dab the gray onto the wet area and then work in some green. Next, wet the far away snow area with clean water and paint gray along the edge. You can work it up a bit so that you get a gradual blend of color. I'm not sure what to do with the area under the tail. I'm starting here with the darker gray, but don't paint yours that dark. Just a medium or light gray would be better. There's a little bit of the branch that shows under the snow, and that needs to be a dark brown. Make sure the bottom area is dry before you paint this. You can make your brown darker by adding some blue or black. Finally, we're up to the chickadee. Wet the body of this little cutie under the wing and neck. Paint some of your gold color, that's yellow with a little brown, under the wing. Paint a little bit of gray at the bottom for shading.
Now the black on this little bird's head needs to be really black. You want it to stand out. You could mix a dark blue plus brown for black or use a tube black, but whatever you do, use plenty of paint so you have a deep rich black. And paint right over the eye. When you come to the beak, add a little water to your black so the beak is more gray than black. The back and the tail are also gray. You can darken them up later. Now everything's got a first coat of paint and it's time to start finishing. Mix a dark brown with brown plus black this time we're going to paint the pine cone with a small brush and go around all those little shapes. For the right pine cone, we want this one to have more interest, more value change. So paint the pine cone with kind of a golden brown or a lighter brown at the top and a darker brown near the bottom. If your colors aren't close enough in value, once it dries, you can darken the light areas. Now for the oh so important finishing touches. Evaluate your painting and adjust the values. If you need it lighter, re-wet and lift up some paint. If you need an area darker, just repaint it. Time to add a few wispy pine needles in green and brown. Last, you can use an opaque white paint to clean up your white edges. You could add snow to the pine cone or even add a few white pine needles. Isn't this a great look with three colors? Now, if you're doing this for Christmas card, you could re-wet the background and paint in a hint of red, or you could add some yellow or gold around the edges. But painting is supposed to be fun in my lessons, so don't be afraid to try things. It's just a piece of paper. Happy holidays and happy painting.